Hello, welcome back again. In this video, we are going to uh, see how uh, we can work with Eclipse uh, and how we can write code on Eclipse and run that code uh, on IBM uh, Bluemix PaaS platform. So here uh, you see that I have already logged into my um, uh, console that is uh, IBM Bluemix console and here um, uh, you can see the various service components like compute, network, storage, data analytics and so on, uh, DevOps, security and uh, IoT, Internet of Things, mobile APIs. So these are the uh, services provided by uh, IBM Blue, Bluemix. We have already seen that. Uh, now I'll uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll go to compute, and here uh, if you see that there are uh, four uh, tabs. One is the Cloud Foundry application tab, Open Whisk uh, containers and virtual servers. So these are the compute, different compute services provided by Bluemix and <clears throat> uh, IBM, um, this uh, Bluemix also uh, gives, this is the PaaS platform on the Cloud Foundry PaaS platform. Open Whisk, uh, this is, if you go, you can find this is a microservice uh, services given by uh, uh, IBM Bluemix. And this is similar to uh, the AWS Lambda uh, serverless architecture. Uh, here uh, we can, uh, this can be compared to that. And here we can write uh, uh, the code which directly uh, can be executed without invoking any server or similar stuff. So a particular, just uh, a code execution from the command line, we can do that or from the dashboard. Containers, uh, if you see that, this is nothing but uh, the <clears throat> Docker containers provided by uh, Bluemix. And these are the virtual servers. This is similar to uh, creating virtual servers, that is the uh, IaaS, Infrastructure as a Service. So this is Infra as a Service. This is the PaaS and this is the microservices, that is the uh, uh, microservice or you can say uh, the serverless architecture and that is uh, just executing the code and this is uh, containers uh, provided by the docker containers uh, so these are the uh, four uh, compute uh, services we get let's uh, go forward and uh, create a cloud foundry application directly okay and uh, we have seen already how to create uh, a cloud foundry application from the console but what I'm going to show here is how I can create one from the Eclipse uh, IDE uh, development environment. So here is my Eclipse and uh, here is uh, Eclipse uh, IDE, the development environment and I just, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'll uh, try to connect uh, Eclipse uh, to my uh, IBM Bluemix uh, PaaS platform. So here um, you can see I have already connected here. What I'm going to do is just I'll try to delete it at this point, then I'll create a new one, okay? Um, so the this is just, I'm deleting it so that I can start it from uh, beginning again. So you see that there is no servers are available. So here, uh, just click. Uh, if you click here, it is uh, this, these are the various options we get. Apache, IBM, the Pivotal, uh, Cloud Foundry directly, and uh, so on, so forth. So here, uh, I choose IBM Bluemix. And go to next. And here you have to provide your email ID, which you used to create your uh, a Blue Mix environment. Uh, in my case, it is my email ID. And um, I provide my password here. Uh, 
and uh, it is automatic uh, selected the IBM Bluemix US South or you can just drop down you can see which one you want to connect uh, you can see here there are uh, three regions uh, US South Sydney and UK these are the three regions at this point uh, uh, available uh, you can just check the validate account to see if uh, the login is happening or not so if it is validated it should not have any error now i believe so no, no error it has been validated go to next and you see that i have created so it now it has a got which i created in my environment you see that pnac and dev and test uh, so you it has been fetched you see this is the organization and uh, spaces so this is pnac is the organization and the space uh, is dev and test uh, uh, next well uh, there is no resource available right now otherwise it would have fetched it so no reach of uh, just finish it uh, <clears throat> now uh, this has been uh, created the ibm uh, bluemix server has been added to my eclipse platform and uh, i just connected so here what i can do is uh, now go to the file create a new project file new just for my demo purpose i'm going to create a uh, maybe a dynamic web project here okay just i call it uh, my test project okay my test project and uh, here uh, default location yeah, this is my default location and uh, target runtime is ibm bluemix runtime okay and that's all next uh, well uh, just we can uh, finish it here